come on, come on. Help me out here, huh? What's the matter? You never seen a guy drop a diamond down a drain? You got stupid pet tricks, I got this. Oh. How am I supposed to do an on one knee proposal if I don't have a ring? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Zyla! Zyla, say a little doggy prayer. I got something. I don't know what it is. Ugh. What is it? Back so soon? Yeah, they took pity on me. They let me leave early. Why did somebody throw a grenade in our sink? We had a leak. A leak? Ew! What is that? No, 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 no. That, that, it's, it, it's a clog. Don't. It's disgusting. It's a clog? Can I ask you something? Why are you suddenly Mr. Plumber Man? I've been asking you to fix the drip in the bathroom for weeks. You said you couldn't do it. I couldn't. I can't. I. I. I can't. This is very strange. Very strange. Could it be there's something acting up here besides our pipes? Maureen's not there yet? Well, uh, I'm, I'm sure she's on her way. And uh, when she gets here, would you just tell her that I'm running a little late, but I'll be there? Thanks, Henry. Okay. Oh, Nick, I'm sorry. I think that crowd in radiology is certifiable. Ah, it's all right. All that squinting all day long, looking at shadows and bones, must drive anybody crazy. <laughs> Um, you ready to take me home now? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, let me run down to uh, the doctor's lounge to get my stuff and try to look quasi-presentable, if that's at all possible. What are you talking about? You look beautiful. Oh, Nick, come on. You don't have to say that. Just because you think that's what I want to hear. Eve, what's going on here? This can't be because of some drone and x-ray. What happened? It's just... Uh, I am tired of seeing the things that men do to women. It just drives me crazy. What things? Well, like, for instance... When they are obviously madly attached to one person, yet they can't pass up the ego massage of somebody else, so they leave this poor soul stringing along, and she's got her hopes high, and she spends the rest of her life finding a way wait, over somebody wait a minute, else. Wait a minute, hey, 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 wait a second. I am not madly attached to anybody. If I have to tell you this a hundred times a day until you get it right, I will. Melinda is not a part of my life anymore. Mindy? Mindy, I don't believe it. It's really you. How could I let you think your friendship wasn't enough? You gave me back so many things I thought had slipped away for good. A trust in life stronger than the fear of dying. A sense of wonder at what is and might be. The sweetness of lying with a lover in the dark while the words tumble out, saying nothing and everything. We had our time and place. I was greedy and ungrateful not to know it had to pass.
Mr. Bauer, please. His wife. No, no, don't page him. He probably isn't even there. talking about somebody I work with. I gotta tell you, I mean, I find it hard to believe that you'd be this upset because of somebody that you work with. She happens to be a friend. And she's being used by somebody who should know better. Look, Nick, I promise you, your ex-girlfriend was the farthest thing from my mind, okay? Okay, fine. But I hope you understand why I might have thought that way. I mean, in the past, it's like... All it takes is somebody I don't even know to mention Melinda's name, and you assume that it's some sort of a conspiracy. All right, all right, I hear you, okay? I know. You're the one who's talking about it right now, though, so at any moment that you want to stop, <sighs> please feel free. All right, okay. Yes, ma'am. I gotta tell you, you are one tough doctor tonight, you know that? I think that we need to get you out of here into something a little more comfortable. Come on. That sounds good. Right. Excuse me. Here? No, I'm sorry, she's off duty. Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, I'm a friend of Mrs. Rain's. Can I help you with something? My mom. She had an accident. What kind of accident? She fell off a ladder. She was really high up. We came here in an ambulance, and now she's having an operation. Mrs. Rain's is two doors down from us. Mm -hmm. I know she's a nurse. I thought maybe I could find her. Okay, well, what's your name? Doug Lawson. Doug, hi, I'm Eve, and I'm a doctor here. This is my friend Nick. Hi, Doug. Hi. Look, I'm sorry Mrs. Raines isn't here, but would you mind if I sat with you and we both waited for your mom together? No, I wouldn't mind. Okay. Um, I think this is going to take longer than I thought. It depends on the surgery, you know. I know. Can we have a rain check? That might not be necessary. Listen, Doug, uh, do you mind if I wait with the two of you? Sure. Great. Listen, why don't you go into the lounge and rustle up a deck of cards? We'll sit around playing some Crazy Eights or something, all right? You know how to play Crazy Eights? No. I don't know either. Well, then it's great. I'll have to teach both of oh. you. <laughs> Fine. Because I think I need to learn something, too. How could she just disappear? I just wanted to see if I could still outrun you. Oh, Dylan. Oh, I have missed you something fierce. 
You think I'm too young to have a heart attack? Think again. You look right at me and then you just take off. Try to understand. For months, all I've been doing is running and trying to keep ahead of the detective of the week who shows up to track me down. It's a force of habit. You see someone who recognizes you and you put the pedal yeah, to I'm the not metal. I'm someone who recognizes you. I'm your brother. You sure are. And I never saw a sweeter sight. Well, you've got a funny way of showing it. Oh, are you going to be mad at me all night? You know what we've been going through at home? Wondering where you were, if you were okay, especially Billy. He was pitiful, man. He dragged through Christmas like, like he was serving time for armed robbery. I had a pretty miserable Yuletide myself. I wish I could have come home. Well, why couldn't you? Aren't you ready to give up this nonsense and come back where you belong? New York, this is a fine town, Minnie, but this is not you. What the hell are you doing here? It's a long story. Well, let's go somewhere I can hear it sitting down. <sighs> ambitious field trip. Mm -hmm. But what about all those kids in class who can't ski? Well, they get lessons. comes with a package. I'll tell you something about kids Bill's age. One lesson, they're coming down here like they've been doing it their whole life. But the adults, on the other hand, I think we're the ones going to make fools out of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you don't expect this fool to go strapping on skis in my condition. Oh, oh no, no. You, you will curl up in front of the fire down at the lodge. Well, honey, what if I go into labor? What, are they going to pull out this really big sled and, and take me to the first aid station? I can't be leaving town right now. I have to stay put until after the baby. No, of course you can't leave. I, I wasn't thinking. No, I just wish the timing was better on this, and then you could join us. You mean you're going to go anyway? Well, it's only a phone call away. <laughs> Come here in a hurry. Just call. Well, yeah, but I just never pictured you leaving me alone in these last crucial weeks. No, this is only three days. You can't say for sure the baby's going to be born in those three days. Just tell me one thing. Uh, uh-huh, what? Is Vanessa going? Uh, well, she's his mom, goes with the territory. I don't believe it. Darling, I am going for Bill, not for Vanessa. I'll bet that's not what she thinks. Okay, now, will you do me a favor? Just look down the road 10 or 12 years. What for? Say our baby is the same age as Bill, and he or she is going on a, a field trip with their whole class, and all the parents are going. That's not fair. Now, why is that not fair? Well, because our situation will be different with our baby. Well, let's say it is different, and our baby has the luxury of living with both parents, and there's no sticky situations of exes meeting exes, but Bill's situation is sticky. And you know the damn thing about it is that he never asked for that, and he had nothing to say about it, and I kind of think he shouldn't be punished for it. Well, I just thought that Bill would understand that right now I might need you more than he does. Yeah, well, little Bill has been asked to understand a whole lot in his short life. Maybe this time the grown-ups are the ones that could compromise. Of course, you would then have to trust me. And, uh, maybe you should take a little time to think about if you could do that or not. And I'll take a walk and maybe turn it into a drive and I'll think about some of the things I gotta think about. listening to him? What is your problem? Bridget, what are you doing downstairs with Billy in the house? Are you crazy? No, but I think you are. Don't you realize you had a gift horse standing right in front of you? And not only are you looking him in the mouth, you're asking him to recite the alphabet. You're asking him to whistle Dixie. Good grief, woman. Don't you know an opportunity when you see one? I'm sorry I'm acting so weird. It's just I've been really involved in that leak. Uh-huh. Bit off more than you could chew, huh? You took it apart, now you can't put it back together. Put it back together? I just didn't want to do it right now, that's all. Yeah? Why not? I, I, I thought I'd spend a little time with you, you know? I mean, yeah. after I got cleaned up, I thought maybe we could have a nice dinner, a bottle of wine. Oh, honey, I I had dinner. You had it? No, you remember you told me to save the soup for you? Well, I was passing the diner, and, and something smelled good, and I was starving. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Stavros made something good? Well, it smelled a lot better than it tasted. Ugh. Do we have any antacids? My stomach hurts. It's gonna, I'm gonna have heartburn all night, I think. Heartburn? And my feet. My poor feet. These stupid shoes. Every time I think they're broken in, they're not. Hey, does it really work to soak your feet in that, um... Epsom salt. What do you call it? Yeah, Epsom salts. Do we have any of those? You're gonna soak your feet? Yeah. 
Why not? Well, I can think of a lot more attractive ways of spending the evening, dear. Oh, not me. The most attractive thing to me right now is a hot shower and a cool pillow. I could sleep for about a hundred years, I think. Oh, you can have the shower after me. Great. Then we could soak our feet together. That'd be romantic. Maybe I should have left this where I was. Doesn't quite seem to be the night for it, does it? What happened? What happened? Did you break something? A cup and saucer. Part of an old set of Burt's. Not too much left of it now. I love old china, you know, it's so graceful. Of course, the problem is when you break it, it's a headache trying to find the same pattern. Sometimes it's not worth trying to save. I have to go upstairs. Michelle needs me. Uh, is there something you wanted? No, no. It, it's obviously a bad time. I'll come back some more. Another time might be worse. Well, um, I had lost a scarf here over the holidays, a plain wool one, and um, I thought I'd stop by on my way home to see if, if, if you'd found it. I didn't come across any scarf. It's plain and red. Red? Nope. Well, I probably left it somewhere else. I'll... You probably did. If I come across it, I'll let you know. Excuse me. Wait. I did come across something that I think belongs to you. Guiding light in a moment. I'm not the wicked stepmother. I love little Bill, and I know he's had a tough time. I am not at all worried about little Billy. In fact, I think the kid's got it made. No, he doesn't. He was very torn up about his parents' divorce. He tries not to show it much, but he hates it when he's not seeing Billy every day, and I think it's because the two of them are so alike. It's Vanessa. You know, I think that she set up this whole thing. I think you're paranoid. Nadine, it's a school trip. How could she have any control over it? Uh, haven't you ever heard of the PTA? I'll bet she stood up at some meeting one night and said how wonderful it would be for all the young men and all the young ladies to take to the slopes together. No, it couldn't be a spring picnic or a camping trip or anything like that. No, it had to be a, a ski trip. She made sure it was a ski trip that hit right at the time that I'm due. No, I'm due. If there's any doing to be done around here, it's mine. And you know, Nadine, on the big day, people are going to be able to tell the difference between us real easy. You know why? Because I'm going to be the one whining and moaning and begging for death. Oh. I bet you wish we never started this thing, don't you? It's a little late to start wishing now. I just thought it would be the perfect solution to both of our problems. It just seems so right. I can't lose him to Vanessa now. I just can't. Vanessa, would you just stop worrying about Vanessa? I think you're worrying about the wrong thing. Well, what should I be worried about? Having this baby. I mean, pulling it off without anyone noticing. Don't you realize that having Billy out of town on the due date, that may be the biggest blessing of all. Can't you even see that? Well, yeah, it would be nice not to have to come up with an excuse to keep Billy away from the hospital. Nice? Excuse me, it would be nice? Okay, great. <laughs> it would be great. Mm hmm And you realized it and I didn't, so are you happy? Yeah. How did you get to be so smart, little girl? Huh? Not to mention so devious. Oh, I learned a lot from watching an expert. <laughs> How long have you been here? Uh, a couple of months. But before that, I was as far west as Omaha and as far north as Toronto. <laughs> I called up every girlfriend I still had from college. And I'd go camp out on their floor, one by one, until oh. they kicked me out. Or until I had to dodge some detective. When I got to the last name on my list of Sweetbriar alumni, she lived here on East 38th Street in Manhattan. So, I moved in with her until I got the job with Matt Weiss. 
then I got a place of my own. How do you like working for Matt Weiss? Well, he's one of the best in the field. Why wouldn't I? I don't know, maybe it just seems like it would be kind of frustrating selling somebody else's stuff when you're such a good designer yourself. There you go, being kind again. I could get used to this. Mindy, you come back to Springfield with me. We'll hit you with all the kindness you can handle. I just don't have enough answers yet to all the questions, Dylan. Nobody's gonna be pressuring you with questions, honey. You think we're all worried about stuff that happened in the dark ages in history? We don't care about that stuff. We just want our sunshine back. <laughs> were you able to get the roses? Red ones? Great. Thank you, ma'am. You're a prince among men. Uh, listen, do you think I could just uh, talk to Marina? She's not there. Okay, uh, she'll be there soon. So will I. Bye-bye. I knew you loved him. I think I even knew before you did. And do you want to hear something really nuts? I thought it was sweet. Because never, never in 10 million years did I think you would do anything about it or that he would either. Boy, there's nothing. I mean, there's nothing I can say. When I stand here now and I look back and I think of you, I... Don't insult either one of us by saying to me that you ever gave me one thought. Please, just understand I was crazy then, Maureen. I, I thought that I was probably going to die from the cancer. I'm not trying to make an excuse to you. don't. Okay. But there's one thing you have to know. You have to know that it's over. No, you have to know that it never really ever began. What? forgive you for this. Once, Maureen, it was one time, that's all. Believe me, Ed was, he was, it, it, it was me. I was going to push Get out of my house. Hand. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. I like Lydia for a girl. Lydia Lewis? Sounds like a stripper. Better than <laughs> Abigail. I mean, that sounds like a little house in the prairie. Mm -hmm. Billy, go, go. Go. Okay, okay. Bridget. <sighs> Hi. Hi. Um, I'm sorry. For what? Well, for just not thinking about what it's like to be you right now. I mean, I, this is a real important moment that's coming up, and, um, I know you had babies before, but still probably got to be pretty scary. Well, it has been a long time since Harley was born. Mm, exactly. So, I am not going anywhere, and I will find some way to explain it to little Bill. Oh, Billy. <laughs> now, <clears throat> sometimes I get so much thinking about my kids that I, I lose sight of important things. Well, yeah, but that, that's what makes you such a wonderful father. You try to be there for every single person who needs you, and sometimes there's just not enough of you to go around. Now, listen, I have been thinking, too, and I have decided that I can handle things on my own for a few days. Really? Really? And it would break my heart to be the reason for Bill's disappointment. So, I want you to go. Darn it, I'll have made up my mind. <laughs> well, just unmake it. Now, you told me to look down the road 10 or 12 years, and that's exactly what you should do. I mean, you want little Bill to be close to his little brother or sister, don't you? Sure, I do, but... Right, then... We don't want to set up a situation that, that he'll feel like we're all obsessed with the baby and forgetting all about him. You really mean this, don't you? Well, of course I do. All right, lady. But on one condition, and that is that the moment you have the slightest twinge, you call. Don't wait until you are going to the hospital in labor, okay? Oh, don't you worry, Billy. You will be the first to know. 
The one thing I could not believe was when Daddy told me Nadine was pregnant. Oh, no. <laughs> she must be due any day now. Any day. Are you sure that's an event you want to miss? You are like a dog with a bone. <laughs> hey, this baby's going to be our little brother, Mindy, or a little sister. I know. There's just so much, so much to deal with. It's getting late. Isn't Julie going to be expecting you back by now? Well, when I called her, she said she was with a friend from ballet class, so we got all night. I just can't believe it. You and Julie? When I left, she and Hart were the big item. Yeah, well, things change. And that's something you need to realize when you think about coming home. It doesn't have to be the way it was, Mindy. Things can be a lot better. I'm just not ready. Not yet, Dylan. Cousin Nick. You haven't said very much about him. But then again, I haven't asked. So, okay, I'm asking. How is he? Okay, here goes. You know, when I first met you, Someone told me I was going to attach myself to you, body and soul. I would have... I would have hanged myself. Do you remember those days? You were the biggest pain in the... What? Don't you think I had the right flavor, the proper tone? Okay. All right. <clears throat> How's this? I think you know I can be pretty full of myself sometimes. Made mistakes in the past thinking I was better cop than a lot of other people trying just as hard. I've made mistakes thinking I was a better teacher. I could never learn from my students. I was even dumb enough to think that I was so special that I shouldn't have to be injured and fight my way back. And all that sounds like the height of arrogance. But it's not. The height of arrogance is asking you to be my wife. Because that indicates that I think I deserve you. serve you, Harley. You're more generous than I am. You're more patient than I am. Heaven knows you're more beautiful than I am. You're so beautiful. But beyond that, you stuck with me through things that would have made a lesser woman run screaming for the door. Ring belonged to my mother. What? Did you say ring? Boy, you won't even let a guy get to the good stuff. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I'm listening. Get, get to the good stuff. You're my life. Harley Davidson Cooper. Marry me. or I'll take a picture of you and show to all our friends. <coughs> Is that a yes? <sighs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, I don't see Nick that often. Except on TV, of course. It's been a big season for the media. Well, I guess he must have been really busy with the election. Yeah, that, and there was this big thing with Spalding International. He was the first one to break the story. He almost got shot doing it. It's pretty bad. Is he okay? Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me things like that, Dylan. Well, you wanted to know. But... You don't see him around at, like, I don't know, the towers or parties or, or no, anything? No, 
And Billy invited him over for Thanksgiving. He didn't show up. Invited him over for Christmas. He didn't show up then either. So if you're worried about running into him when you come home, it doesn't seem very likely. I mean, he's keeping a pretty low social profile. Sounds like he's keeping himself very busy. Just like me. <laughs> it's the best way to get on with your life. Well, it might be the best way to get on with something when you... But I don't know if you'd call it a life. Oh, man, just come back and visit with us just for a little while, a couple of days, just see how it goes. No! And Dylan, Dylan, I don't want you telling anyone where I am either. Okay? Please. Oh. Julie's one thing, I realize that you can't keep it from her, but if you swear, you can trust her. I can. Okay, don't let anyone know besides you and Julie. I wish I could tell Daddy, but I can't. Not yet. He would just pressure me worse than you have. And I am just not ready to deal with that, okay? Okay. Cross your heart and hope to die. If you make me. <laughs> I feel like I still have a lot of work to do. Nick, I don't want to be a lot of work. Honestly, I don't. You know, I think I just have to trust in time a little more. Each day that goes by, and you get to realize how I feel about you, you'll stop it with this idea that I'm still stuck on Melinda. And maybe someday, soon, hopefully, it won't even be an issue at all. And I just wish that you would come home with me so that I could prove this to you. Okay. All right, okay. You want to move slowly, we'll move slow, right? Do you know where he is? Is he still here? Ed, Ed uh, about an hour ago, I saw him. I'll pinch. Can I look? Can I help? No, it's okay. Can I please pay you to uh, Yes, please, Paige, and thank you very much. Oh, Ed. Yes. Did you get it? What happened? She knows. She found it, Ed. She knows. right across the yard if you need anything to take before your father gets home. When are you getting back? I will call you, sweetheart. Is somebody sick? Is it Grandma Reardon? No, no. Grandma's fine. Did Bridget do something? No, sweetheart. It is nothing like that. I don't understand why you can't tell me. Well, there are things that I don't understand. And I, I don't want to try to explain something to you that I don't understand. So you just have to trust me and not worry. Can you do that? I don't know. Yes, I think you can. And I don't want to worry about you, so I want you to go to bed right now. Did you tell Daddy? Tell Daddy what? That you were going. No, I couldn't reach you. Um, there's milk in the fridge for cereal. And, uh, your lunch, I made it. It's in there, too. Mommy, I don't like this. Oh, sweetheart, you're gonna be fine. Just fine. You're gonna go to bed, and then in the morning you're gonna wake up and go to school, and everything's gonna be just the way it always was, and nothing is going to happen to change that. And I will call you very, very soon. I love you.
nightmare. This is an absolute nightmare. Ray, I asked her to marry me and she calls it a nightmare. Oh, no, this is the most important day of my life and I look like Betty Davis in that Baby Jane Marley, movie. You look gorgeous. There's just one problem. What? You still haven't said yes. I haven't. I love you. I love you. Yes. Oh. Oh. I love you. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all that sticky stuff. It's cold cream. I'm getting it no, on you. Get it on me. Get it on me for the rest of my life. Mmm. You want some of this? Oh, no. I can't eat another bite. Oh, this is really nice. Just being downstairs is really nice. Honey, I know you could scream being up in that attic, but you've got to remember the Beverly Hills Hotel is just around the corner. Hmm. The Pepto Palace. Pepto. Oh, you mean the Pink Palace. Right. Room service and a swimming pool. And But you know something? Bridget, that's not going to be enough to repay you for everything you've done for me, everything you've gone through for me. Well, just wait till you see the bill. No, listen, I mean it. I mean, you're giving me a second chance on so many things, and that's not going to be enough just to repay you with a hotel room. The only way that I can repay you is, is to love that little baby with all of my heart. And I will, Bridget. I hope you know that I will. Hello. Hi, Billy. Hey, Dylan. I was just thinking about, you know, I came across a picture of Minnie uh, taking up Cross Creek last time we had a party up there about five minutes before you washed your face in the snow. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah, she chased you around a good long time. She wouldn't look before she could pay you back, I remember. Yeah, she wasn't going to let me get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> but look, Billy, the reason I'm calling is... Uh, I was thinking of meeting with Fidel tomorrow morning about the offshore project. I mean, he's right here in New York. It seems like a shame not to take advantage of that. Hey, you got his number? Yeah, I do. I just wanted to check with you, see if I should call him. Well, absolutely. I mean, stay on top of it, boy. All right, then I'll report back to you after I talk to him. Okay. Have a good night, okay? Uh, yeah. Wait, 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 Dylan. Um, so, so how's the, the rest of your trip? I mean, you find anything exciting out there in New York City? Yeah, 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 yeah. Very exciting. Um, look, Billy, I'm not going to tie up this line. I got to go. Uh, don't hold on a second. I, I didn't mean to keep you. It's just, um, well, truth is, uh, I'm a little bit lonely. I came across these pictures of Mindy, and, uh, well, it just brought me down a little bit, you know, to kind of wonder where she is. And Her little heart is. I called that number the last one I had. It's been disconnected. Billy, she's here. She made me promise I wouldn't tell you, but she's here, Billy. She's fine. She's got a right to know. I'm. Look, she's coming out of the ladies' room. I gotta go. I will call you back. New York City. Yeah, come on in. Oh, hey, Billy. Whoa, it's cold out there. Listen, I borrowed this from you this morning. I just wanted to bring it back. Um. I'm not disturbing you or anything, am I? Oh, no, 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 not, not disturbing me at all. Hey. Good. Yeah, it is cold out there. Yeah. Well, look, I'll um, I'll drop this off over by the door, sure. okay? Uh, thanks a lot. Sure. Uh, Nick, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm real glad you brought that back because uh, I know I'm going to need it in the morning. Well, then I'm glad I brought it back too, Bill. Have a good night. Yeah. Everything's gonna be okay. 
Do you know where she went? She wouldn't tell me. No, I don't, I don't know. But I, she's gonna... She'll let us know soon. Did... Did she say anything? Did she say that, I mean, when she might be home? No. She told me to go to bed, but I couldn't. I couldn't sleep. I'm scared. Oh, don't be scared. It's gonna be awful. Everything's good. been Guiding Light. Fashion leather gloves by Founds.